Today on Mike Attempts, repairing a tractor grader blade. The angle selection on this blade was messed up when I bought it. All of the pinholes are wallowed out. The pin sleeve is loose inside the frame. And the pin is, well, I'm not sure what it used to be, but it's in bad shape. First, I need to take it apart so I can remove the damaged pieces. Nice and easy. Easy. Perfect. The previous owner welded a scrap steel bar over the old holes in an attempt to repair it. Three of the holes were wallowed out so bad they became one. Next, I ground down the old weld so I could knock the pin sleeve out. The old sleeve is bulging and cracked. After unbolting the blade to make it easier to work on, it's time to remove the old plate. It's only welded on the bottom, so I use the grinder to remove most of the bead. I made a few relief cuts so the plate would bend a little easier. Then I just beat it with a hammer until it fell off. I just happen to have this half inch steel plate that'll be a perfect replacement for the old thinner plate. To find the center of a circle, draw a straight line on the outer edge. Find the middle of that line and draw a perpendicular line. Spin the circle a bit and repeat the process at least once more. Wherever the lines cross is the center. This plate isn't a perfect circle, so I drew a third line just to be sure. I pre-drilled a quarter inch hole in the center to give the three and a half inch hole saw as much of an advantage as possible. I knew this was probably too much to ask of this old one third horsepower drill press, but I wanted to at least try. The hole saw stalls easily with too much pressure, but it's working. At this rate, I should be through in a few months. I 
switched to a hand drill which has a lot more torque. It was able to cut much faster, but it still took forever. I just tried to go slow and oil often so the teeth didn't get too hot. At about halfway through, I flipped the plate over and started drilling from the other side. I was really surprised at how well the hole saw held up. Not only did it still have all the teeth, they still felt sharp too. There was a thin ridge where the two cuts met, so I smoothed it out with a carbide burr. I'm sure there's a better way, but this was the only thing I could think of to mark the plate for drilling the pinholes. It's just a sharpie taped to an old wire brush. In a previous video, I added this center pulley to reduce the speed specifically for this greater blade repair. I've got five holes marked on the arc I made with the sharpie, and now it's time to drill. This is a brand new 3 quarter inch drill bit, so for the first hole, I wanted to see how well it would do without a pilot hole. It worked, but like the hole saw, it took forever. I stopped often, clean the chips, add oil, and make sure the bit wasn't getting too hot. drilled the four remaining holes with a quarter inch bit. I was able to drill the other holes over twice as fast as the first, but it was still slow. The end result looks pretty good. I put a few tacks on the plate and then began welding. I have very little welding experience, so this isn't going to be pretty.
I put the piece up on my welding table so I could try to smooth out some of my mistakes. It doesn't look that great, but I'm pretty sure it'll hold. I picked up a one inch and a three quarter inch piece of black pipe to repair the pin sleeve. I filed down the inside weld seam of the one inch pipe and then cut the threads off of one end of each pipe. I pounded the smaller pipe down inside the larger one. The wood and rubber mallet were absorbing too much energy, so I switched to metal. I then cut the excess off the other threaded end. I tacked the top and bottom of the pin sleeve and then welded it up. It turned out okay. The bottom had a pretty wide gap most of the way around. It took me a while, but I was able to completely fill in the gap with weld. After spraying on some paint and reattaching the blade, time to put it back together.
The pin fits the center hole great, and there's very little movement. As for the other holes, too tight. I slightly enlarged four of the holes with the carbide burr. Now the pin fits each hole properly. No hammer required. See the description below for the tools I used. Feel free to rate this video, add your comments and questions below, and subscribe for more.